Hello and welcome to The Bike Shed, the place where we talk about how-tos to bike reviews. Today we are talking about the Tour de France, what's special happened episode. so far, special episode, and we are also discussing the Grand Tour giveaway, which is happening in the month of July, how you can participate, and also the Tour, Tour de France Tour Femmes. De France Femmes as well and our Zwift event that's gonna be happening on the 29th of July, 8 a.m. AEST, which is 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There will be more discussed later on in the episode. But let's kick it off by talking about tour selection. Yeah. Uh, this is kind of a tricky one because I'm kind of broken that Mark Cavendish wasn't selected for the tour, especially after the British National Champion. Yeah, look, Devin's uh, a, a road rider, so he knows everyone involved. I used to grow up watching the Tour de France with my parents, but I don't follow it as, as heavily, I guess. Um, so I've done a bit of a selection and I know who Cavendish is. I know that he's really good, but I think Devin, you can say a bit more about why it's a bad thing that he might not be there. All is, right. Is your opinion? All right. So this is my opinion, right? If you look at Quick Step, you have Fabio Jacobson, which they're going to take. And I think that's because he's 25. Uh, he's a young guy. Uh, he had that horrendous in, um, injury uh, by Grunewagen. And now he's he's healed. He's on really good form. And he has his contract, I believe, to the end of 2023. Um, so versus Cavendish, which I think Cavendish is 37. He's, he's in his he's late older. 30s. Yeah. Um, so, but the issue is he's tied right now with Eddie Merckx with 34 stage wins. So he's tied. He's on good form. I mean, the British national... I think, I think he can do it. Sure. I, think he, I don't think he would retire next year. And I, it would be publicity be reasons. There. Like yeah, if you look at good marketing, but they didn't pick him. They didn't pick him. So now I'm wondering, will he retire? Do you think he's going to retire next year, or do you think no. he's going to jump ship to a new team? He'll he'll keep going. He's been with Chris Step a long time. They've got good lead outs. I mean, I think he's he's racing for the fun. I yeah. don't think he'll he'll be in there just to beat Merck. So I, I think he really enjoys it, and that's why he's you know he's done so well in, in some of the other Grand Tours. I agree. We will see. So leave your comments down below. Do you think Cav will leave or do you think he will stay? Next. Uh, we got Chris Froome next. Froome. Froome dog. Old Froomey. Uh, old Froomey. <laughs> he is old now. He is he old. He is old. He's 37. Old uh, guy, yeah. He's, he's getting there. And I feel bad because in cycling terms, we always say old, but you know, that's 37 in, in real life isn't old. <laughs> sure. um, so 37. He, do you know the average age of the eight man team going to the Tour de France at Israel Startup Nation? Sorry. Israel Premier Tech um, is 33. Uh, so I've got a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm still young if I join the team. <laughs> exactly. So they have Daryl Limpy. Uh, they got Mike Woods, which I think will, will do well. And they got Fuglesang, which is going to be leading the team. Um, so they, they have a strong roster, just a bit on the old side. Um, that's just classic. I think I, I, ISN, I keep thinking it's ISN, um, is, is going to do all right. I don't yeah. know. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. No. Yeah, yeah, They're not so. punchy enough. Um, then we have Grant Thomas. Grant known, Thomas. Known for his glasses. His yeah. retro style Oakleys that, you know, I think are pretty stylish. I, I know Grant as being the guy who spent a lot of his youth crashing and finishing rides with bandages all over him and, and, and completing and, and getting to the end. So if something does go wrong with some of the big favorites... I would say Garen will, will be hanging around. He might he might pop up there. Mm. Just Tour de because, Swiss win. Tour yeah, de Swiss I mean, win. He's on good form and he knows what he's doing. Hmm. So I, I don't I wouldn't count Garen out, but I'm I'm probably gonna say Froome's not gonna get there. Yeah, I don't think Froome's gonna get there. I think it's Next, days your, early. your top five. Yeah, so top five. Uh, everyone always goes Rog versus Pog. I think uh, Pogachar, he's gonna take the win. That's kind of given. Uh, Vingegaar. Yeah. Is, I, My I guy, think, I chose Vingegaar. I, the the fish slinger. Um, I, <laughs> I think he's going to do quite well. I think he's actually going to come in second. Uh, Grant Thomas, that's kind of a flyer. I'm hoping he gets podium. Uh, Roglic, I don't think he's going to get podium. I don't, that's, no. that's debatable. That's a hot topic. Things happen to Roglic. And O'Connor, only because... Ben, he's an Aussie. He's an Aussie. Yeah. You know, I, have a, I have a soft spot now for Aussies. They've done quite well with Jai um, taking the Giro. And O'Connor, I think he will... He finished fourth last year. He did I well. Yeah, he I mean, did well. A, he's think, a great climber. Yeah. So, uh, what great. about yourself? For me, I had I had Garen Thomas, Fingergaard. I had Jack Haig, just mm, for just yeah. for some some climbing stuff. Maybe he'll he'll come through. Not not for the GC win. Um, I had Ben O'Connor, 
as well. Another yeah. good Aussie in there. Caleb Ewan, not for DC, <laughs> but <laughs> I think he's going to get there on, on some stage wins because he, he's been doing really well mm. uh, in a recent um, stage in, in Denmark, the last stage in Denmark. He was right up there in the sprint, but he just got boxed out against the barriers. Felipe Garner, because, you know, he will. he's the best time trialer in the world at the moment. But Lampart took that. Lampart, uh, yeah, yeah, but that was a short time trial. Time trial. Yeah, 12Ks, not enough. Yeah. You need, need a bit more time. Thomas Pidcock, if there's mm. like a funny, funny day, some wins come up, punchy hills at the end, he could be there hanging around. George Bennett, mm. I mean, why not? Yeah. He's, he's a great Kiwi social distance podcast call out. I, I listen <laughs> to them every week and, and he's someone to look out for in the mountains. And Magnus Court, so he's been a oh, polka dot jersey yeah. from Denmark, done really well. I don't know whether he'll keep that for the rest of uh, rest of the tour, but I mean, it, he looks cool on the bike. He's he's an impressive guy to watch. I think I think he'll he'll come out later on. But did you see that when he got the KOM so well. uh, jersey? Oh, and all, so the whole stoked. crowd, the whole crowd was like Magnus, Magnus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was it was a cool dude. Yeah, no, that was good. Um, next, we have hot or not. So this is always a debatable topic. And I love it because EF, uh, when they did the special collaboration with Palace um, during the Giro, um, that was kind of funky. Everything sold we're out. We're talking about clothing here. Yeah, yeah, we're talking about clothing. Hot or not. So hot or not clothing. We have, first off of, let's go with EF Palace collaboration. The hot? skateboard collab, nah. Nah? Too much stuff going on. Too many colors. Oh. It's not very clean. It's just, it's a bit of a shambles. I mean, it may be fine for a single day, but not for the whole tour. It just doesn't look all nice. All right, all right. Next, we have what is called the Masterpiece by Jumbo Visma. Yeah. Um, I don't know about this. Also, no for me. Looks like they've been just dropped into a bucket of paint. It's, yeah. it's not very nice. It doesn't come out well on, on a cycling jersey when you have these skinny guys with these blotchy brown paint pieces. It, it looks like they're either fallen in the mud or... Yeah, I'm not. It Something kind of reminds went wrong me of, with the printing. Mm, it yeah. reminds me of hunting, like a hunting jersey yeah, or something. Camo, yeah, yeah it's, camo. Yeah, it's, camo. It's not cool. Next, we have uh, Israel Premier Tech Fields of Dreams. This is nice. This this reminded Looks me good. of some Fields of Dreams. Yeah. And the Fantini is the wine company. That's the the main sponsor. Nice sponsor, sponsor, sorry, sponsor, not sponsor. Good for the end. Uh, yeah. Not during. Uh, <laughs> depends because depends, the average age yeah. is 33, so maybe could, they're all in the maybe wine. Maybe they're all in the wines. Yeah, could be. Uh, all right. Next, we have. Hot tech. So we're not going to go into every piece of hot tech. Right now, we have Shimano 105 Di2. This is all this the rage. This is in the market. This is in the market. Not on Tour de France. In the market. And I wanted to know, since you're a tech guy, what do you think? Let's, I let's... mean, it's they're, they're just playing catch up. You've had mm. tram rival Axis come out last year, um, and that offers a, an entry level wireless gear changing group set, electric mm. group set. Shimano's been late to the game again, so it's pretty common for them to be a bit later. You could argue some of their products are, are, are kind of very well developed when they do come out, but it's, it's taken them quite a long time. You do still have wires to the derailleurs and to an external battery, or you hide it in your seat post, but you do have wires hanging around, which other brands have been able to get rid of that. Um, for me, it's more about, about time. Yeah, it's it's not it's not hard. They can they prove they've been able to do it. They just need to offer it at a good price. It is pretty costly. You, you know, more than two and a half thousand, depending on on your currency. Yeah, that is. But I mean, on on OEM bikes, it's going to be a really big seller if you can get a bike with with Di two one hundred five. So I think the thing with the uh, sorry Di two one hundred five is that if you look at the weight, the total weight versus Altegra, right? 3,067 grams, that's 105. Then you have 2,690. So there's about 377 gram difference. That's in crank and cassette. That's my opinion. So the, the spiders that hold the cassette rings will be aluminum in 105 and there's a carbon carrier in, in Altegra. Crank set in 105 is definitely a bit heavier than, than Altegra, but everything else will, will probably be exactly the same. So is it worth it? That, that's a Phil question, but I'm going to ask you, is it worth it? I'd say yes. Yeah. It, it's worth it, but it makes Altegra seem expensive, yeah. and it makes Durace, as, as usual, seem yeah. overpriced. Yeah, yeah. Durace is for the dentist. Yeah, can be. <laughs> um, all right, next we have Tour de France Femmes. This is a big one. 
Um, this gets me really excited because finally there's some coverage on women in cycling. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's been going for a while. It has. So the first one was in 1984, um, the Tour de France Feminine, and they rode a similar course, but it was shortened. Um, and then it stopped for a very long period of time, right? And it's finally gaining recognition. I think it's a really good step forward, especially when it comes to awareness. Again, more eyes, more sponsors. There was plenty of people um, watching Giro de Donna. Mm, there so was, and it was exciting to be honest. Giro was I've, good. I've personally found it more exciting than the men's. Yeah. Um, a lot. The peloton smaller, more attacks. It's more entertaining to watch, um, and really closing the gap is really important when it comes to pay. I think so. The more eyes, the better, right? So I'm looking forward to that. That is the 24th of July um, to the end, to the end of July, um, which is awesome. So to get involved, you can actually watch it on Discovery Plus, GCN Plus, Eurosport, and the Eurosport app. Um, SBS will also be running it, I believe. Highlights, yeah. So a big thing is how you can support is actually watch, watch the race, and it is entertaining. It's good, yeah, it's, it's really good. My top three contenders, Van Vluten from Movie Star and Sarah Gigante. Which is an Aussie. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's been... She's young. Real young. Yeah. Isn't she like 18, 19? I think so. She, I, maybe 20. Okay. Um, she had a bit of illness and now she's bouncing back. She got her first pro, pro win this year. Great. Um, which I would love to see her help out Van Vluten in the mountains because she is a strong climber. She ripped apart the NRS here in Australia, the women's. Absolutely decimated people, uh, which is great to see. Um, next, one of my favorites, Cecilia... Atrip Ludwig. I'm, I don't know. I think I pronounced that all right. Uh, she is on FDJ and she's all, she is a positive ball of energy. So cool. I want to see her. Personality. So, yeah, personality I mean, is a big thing. If you see that in, in men's cycling with, with Peter, people like Peter Sagan, yeah. Cavendish, they might not be winning all the time. But personality. But they're a big personality. Mm, yeah. So I think you'd win there, mate. Cool. <laughs> All right, so next we have the giveaway. So the grand tour giveaway happening at Bikes Online. What this is, is you can have a chance to participate by hitting the link in the description and it's engaging with our socials. The list will be there. If you like us on Instagram, that gives you one entry and refer a friend, that's gonna be weighted higher. So basically we'll have a list of things that you can do to get more entries into the giveaway. What that includes is we have the Stratus S8 disc. A whole bike. A whole bike. That's pretty amazing. Which is pretty amazing. This guy. Yes, this is part of the Stratus range. That guy. Yep. Yeah. And next you have the road helmet. Entity road helmet, carbon road pedals, the cargo bibs. We also have a front light and rear light combo. And we have the bottle cage, Tour de France coffee cup, which is pretty epic. Always good. Um, Just stick another one in the cabinet. <laughs> Uh, then we have Coda Hydration tablets, uh, Coda Energy bars, and we also have energy gels and protein powder. So essentially it's an ultimate bundle. It gets you started, gets you the helmet, gets you the bibs, gets you the lights. Nutrition, nutrition for your races. Yeah. yeah, for your races and a whole bike, which this is happening both in the US and Australia, which is awesome. And the description will be in the link below and you can read all about it. Um, so just head over there. Next, what we have is our TDFF challenge. And what this is, is on Zwift. And if you're not familiar with Zwift, again, you can head over to the link in the description. We explain how to use Zwift. It's an online training platform that allows you to interact with the global community and interact with us. Uh, super easy to use and set up, which will tell you exactly how to do it. And we'll have categories from A to E. And what that means is everyone can participate. It doesn't matter your fitness level. You can participate and you have a chance to win some special goodies. So if you come first in your category, right? So you have A to E, you can win the following, right? This is what we'll have. We have the Coda Electrolyte Tablets, a four pack, Coda Energy Gels, Entity Cargo Bibs, uh, a lightweight portable telescopic floor pump with a gauge. And I love that floor pump. It's good. Uh, it it's, is it's really good. It is a good floor yeah. pump. And some Zwift merchandise. Yeah, so, uh, for me, the great set of nice cargo bibs. Hmm. That's very cool. And I, lo pump. I love them. So, so some basic necessities you can use at riding. And that is going to be happening on the 29th of July, 8 a.m. AEST, 6 p.m. EST. So mark your calendars down, hit the link in the description, and sign up to our Zwift event. Are you going to join? 
I mean, I'll, I can turn my Swift back on. So it's been a while since I've been on Swift. I used it when I was in, in quarantine and when we had terrible weather, but the weather's come bad again. So maybe I'll dust out the trainer and that's it. The Swift. <laughs> yeah, and we have some seriously heavy rain. So I'm gonna be jumping on yeah. Swift to, to stay fit. Plenty of people in, in this part of Australia are not spending much time, I think, outside. Yeah. So Swift, it, perfect timing, good training. And you can even watch some of the tour. So you record it overnight. That's it. Stick it on while you're watching Zwift. Get inspired. And it's on the fun. 29th, uh, we're going to have a little Q&A. Um, some of the girls from Internationales, which is a female organization that works alongside uh, the Tour de France Femmes as giving it awareness. In 2019, they, they rode all the stages the men the men wrote, and they got a lot of publicity. So some of the women from uh, the Internationales will be joining us during this Zwift event. Cool. That concludes. That's all our talk for That's That's TDF. all our talk. Uh, let us know who your top GC contenders are in the comments down below. And don't forget to participate in the giveaway and the Zwift event. Okay. And that's all. Yeah, thanks. We'll uh, see, you, uh, see you next time. See you next time.